hello guys welcome back to s learning so guys in this video we will cover the interview experience which was like a experience by one of our subscriber uh, recently with the company infosys so it is based on java spring boot hibernate and jpa only so an experience level was around three to four years and package offered that is salary offered was nine to ten lpa so we have already covered the one or one more video on accenture interview experience so you can go and watch that also link is given in description so let's begin with this experience now first question in our list is which collections you have used and in which scenarios so if you encounter this question so just uh, give the answer like uh, whatever collection you have worked and in which scenario in your project in which scenario you have worked on that or used that collection framework now next question is which methods are used to insert the data into hashmap and arrayless so this is basic and simple one in arrayless we can use uh, add and in hashmap we can use put next question what is final yield block and what kind of code we should write in final yield block so as we all know final yield block gets always executed no matter what the accession had occurred or not except in the case when we use system.exit otherwise it will always get executed and the code we should write in finally block is to close the database connection resources whatever like uh, for example jdbc resources we should always uh, make sure that it is getting close in the final finally block next question is can we have multiple catch after trial block yes you can have and you can also separate them with the i think pipe operator but uh, if you don't want to use that pipe operator thing and just write the multiple cache statement after try so you can do that also so based on this the next question was what should be the order of multi cache block syntax so make sure that whatever the uh, higher order exception that is parent exception should come at the like least like at the last and child exception should be covered at, at the first beginning only otherwise if you reverse this thing you, uh, you will get code, code unreachable exception or error so make sure to add uh, like uh, cover these questions this type of questions next is difference between comparable and comparator so you can uh, like i say the comparable have compare to method and comparator have compare method or comparator supports or like so source the data based on the different fields but a comparable source in natural sorting order and many more differences are available so you can just go through it once next was write comparator code to sort employee records based on employee names so you just have to write the snippet that uh, what what should be your uh, approach or how should how would you write the comparator logic or method uh, to sort the employee names employee based on the names so just practice this question now use of static in java so you wherever the static gets used so you have to describe that uh, things all the usage of static in java like static keyword static method like that next is can we create object of class and call static methods of that class so you will get error because the static methods are always uh, like access by class name so we cannot create the object and call that next is steps to create spring boot project and add hello world sysout into it so this was the basic simple uh, or you can also assume this question as how can we create the spring boot application from the scratch so the best example is to use the spring initializer and add the dependency maven uh, or gradle select the maven or gradle tool then add the artifacts and then generate the project and then unzip it in your favorite id so it will create a basic spring boot application for us and to add hello world you can directly add that in sysout you can use sysout in the main method only or you you can also use logger to print that hello world then next question is why did we use spring boot instead of spring mvc so the, this is a similar type of question like what is the difference between spring mvc and spring boot or you can also say what advantage the spring boot offers on spring mvc so just go through it there are numerous uh, 
uh, advantages which spring boot offers how to achieve dependency injection in spring so by the help of autovide we can use or uh, achieve this dependency injection so first you explain what is the dependency injection and then you say then you can tell that by the help of autovide we can achieve this and make sure uh, yeah you, you will also get to uh, you will you can also get question like uh, what is the difference between ioc and di so be prepared with that next question is how did you use j unit mockito in your project so if you have worked on j unit or mockito then just uh, guide them with the whatever steps or whatever the flow you have done to write the test cases so yeah that's it that would be enough like a subscriber mentioned so this interview long for almost 50 minute and out of those 50 minute 20 to 25 minutes was uh, discussion happened on uh, project architecture and project structure so make sure whatever project you are mentioning in your resume so just go through it and you just make sure that you explain enough like for 5 to 10 minutes at least so these were the question which were asked to him in the infosys we will also come back with the another other interviews also and if you also want to share your interview experience then you can mail us mail id is provided in description link and you can also watch the accenture interview experience mentioned in the description and i section so that's it from this video stay uh, safe and all the best for your interview